Hello, welcome to Skyber Hacks. Today I will talk about jumping around in Emacs. And it's a, it will be a very short video, but I was, um, I got this tip from Vernon Grant that there's a thing called dumb jump and uh, I should check it out. So that's what I did and I thought it was really, really great. So I just thought I'll tell some more people about it. So Emacs jumping around. Um, it's something that's pretty good at jumping around source code. It's not perfect. Um, but it can give you a lot without uh, you having to generate uh, a tags file um, and you don't have to set up anything like LSP to get basic jump to source, basic source navigation working. And it uses search to do this and it's really, really clever. It looks in typically in your Git repository and it understands you're inside of a Git context and then it lets you, it, it searches inside of that Git repository. and. Uh, a lot of the time it does exactly what you want. So let's try it out. So, well, to first to show you how it works without it. So here I have an Emacs without LSP uh, or project tile or tags, anything set up. So I'll show you how it looks like if I open a, a big Java project, this is Drop Wizard Ladder, a rather large open source Java project. And, you know, if I open the, Navigator, you know, for Java files, there are loads and loads and loads and loads. Okay, it's a big project. And I would like to ju jump to this drop wizard specific class file. Um, but obviously Emacs doesn't know how to do this. It asked me for a tags file. I haven't I haven't made one. I'm not using project tile right now, right here. So I don't have an, any, um, any ways to generate that easily. So, and in the same way, uh, if you open a shell shell file, so this here is a shell script inside of the Emacs repository, and I want to jump to the build installer method, which is indeed a method. You know, I if I look up my I menu here, you can see build installer is there. Emacs just doesn't know how to jump to it yet. So with dumb jump, uh, there are two things you can. You the first thing is that you add it as well. I'll just copy everything and put it into my scratch buffer. Um, that didn't go quite as planned. Let's say, um, copied more from my, okay, it doesn't matter. So the important bit here is the config, um, which XRF, that's the framework for jumping around um, to references, find references, jump to uh, definitions in Emacs, and then you can, then dumb jump is then one of its back ends. Um, the other settings here is that you can hook it up to the uh, completely read framework. So you, when you have Ivy or Helm or something like that, you will get the candidates listed in there as well. So I do those here. And now if I go to my Java file and I reload that, I should be able now to jump to configured validator because of that is a file inside of uh, configured. It's a file inside my Git repository. So in theory, dump jump should be able to find it. It found two candidates. So it didn't know which one to jump to. So as you can see, it's not always it does the right thing. Uh, so here it was in doubt, so it gave me all the options. If I had done uh, this and just hit enter, it would jump to the first one, which is very often what you want. Um, let's say if I could find some uh, resource, what's it called, drop wizard, find a better example, uh, con resource config. Here we go, so this is another file in it has some other classes inside the drop wizard. And here it's able then to figure out, oh, this is a class file and it's in the same Git repository and opens it. And it gives me jump to source, jump back again, uh, functionality that an IDE would typically give you or LSP would give you in Emacs. Very cool. Um, so it enables you to check out large repositories and not import them into your LSP or whatever you normally use for the projects that you work on, but you want some basic functionality like jump navigating the project source code 
and there I find uh, dumb jump really nice. Um, if we have a look at the shell file now, I can now jump to the definition of that method and then pop the navigation buffer uh, back up again and, and get where I was started. Um, there's, uh, of course, support for a lot of languages. If you check out the web page, it says all these languages are supported. Um, so, but yeah, so test it out and check it out. Uh, through my short testing here, it's different. You know, your 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 success rate will vary. But uh, as for something that you get for free, you just have well, it will use grep. But if you install uh, the Silver Searcher AJ, the AG binary, then it will default on that one. That can also do multi-line matches. So it's aware of that, you know, a definition of a method can span multiple lines and then you will get hits according to that, whereas grep works on a strictly line basis. Um, yeah, so here you can say there something where it finds many uh, possible matches and you can then navigate those. Yeah, recommend it, check it out. Um, so yeah, it's pretty good. Depends on language and um, read more about it. Um, there's a lot of different options as well and uh, uh, ways to exclude files for for your uh, from the navigation uh, candidates and other ways to mark a repository as a repository uh, in the case where you don't have a dot git or a mercurial or some other marker. That's it. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.